السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس لاسٹ ٹائم وی ور ڈسکسنگ نمیریکل پرابلم اینڈ وی ہیو ڈسکس ٹو نمیریکل نمبر الیون اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی ول ٹرائی ٹو سال دی نمیریکل نمبر ٹویلو سو فسٹ ریڈ دا کوشچن وٹ از دا کوشچن سیز question is a particle is projected vertically upward in a constant gravitational field with initial speed v naught show that if there is a retarding force proportional to the square of instantaneous speed then the speed of the particle when it return to the initial position is this so we need to pr- prove this result what will be its speed if it return to the same initial point so in this case our particle is moving upward directions and g- now there is two forces that are acting on this objects while moving upward the first is frictional force and the second is gravitational force and both these forces are acting in downward direction so if our acceleration is in upward direction m a uh, m double derivative of displacement with respect to time will be equal to minus frictional force minus gravitational force because if we take uh, body motion because body is moving upward directions so frictional force taking downward direction as negative and so we will take we will uh, write negative sign with the gravitational force as well with the frictional force so minus kmv square is due to frictional force because in this case retarding force is proportional to the square of the instantaneous speed and minus mg is due to weights so if we use chain rule then we can write d square x over dt square like uh, in the form of delta v over delta t and further using chain rule delta v over delta x and delta x over delta t and delta x over delta t is nothing but velocity so we can write as v and delta v over delta x in the similar fashion so if we put back this uh v delta v over delta x in the place of d square x over dt square so our this equation will modify like this and we can rewrite and separating the all variables v delta v and case v square plus g will become equal to minus delta x we have done nothing but separate the our variables so if we integrate these equations so this will become integral of this thing and integral of delta x so what we do so we will multiply this int- uh, this integrand above with the k and also 1 by 2 because derivative of this thing this integral we can solve this integral if we uh, multiply this whole integral with k and 2 2k v above and below so if integration of if derivative of this is present in the uh, above the fraction then we can integrate this equations so this will become 1 over 2k log of kv square plus g and on the right hand side we will be left with minus x plus c so using initial condition when body started motion from the ground so its velocity will be zero when x is zero so it, this will give us this integration constant if we put x is equal to 0 and at that time v is equal to v not this will give us integration constant c is equal to 1 over 2k log and we will put v is equal to v not in the place of v k v not square plus g if we put back and rearranging our equations put back values of c and exploit uh, and rewrite this equation for x this will become like this x is equal to 1 over 2k log of k v naught square plus g and k v square plus g and note that i have used the property of the log because c contain the logarithmic values and also this term is is logarithmic values if i shift this value of c on the left hand side then there will be a negative sign with the value of c so i can write uh, a negative sign uh, in the case of log in the form of fractions so we have 
रिटर्न दिस एक्सप्रेशन इन टर्म ऑफ फ्रैक्शन एक्स विल बी कोड वन ओवर टू के लाग ऑफ के वी नाट स्क्र प्लस जी एंड के वी स्क्र प्लस जी नो द इक्वेशन फॉर डाउनवर्ड मोशन इफ द बॉडी रीच टू हाइस्ट पॉइंट दैन एट लास्ट इट विल स्टॉप हेयर एंड नो इट विल स्टार्ट इट्स मोशन टू डाउनवर्ड नो इट कमिंग डाउनवर्ड इन दिस केस फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स विल बी अपवर्ड एंड ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स विल बी डाउनवर्ड इन दिस केस वी टेक डाउनवर्ड मोशन पॉजिटिव बिकॉज ऑब्जेक्ट इज कमिंग डाउन इट्स मोशन इज इन डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन सो एंड ग्रेविटेशनल एक्सलेशन इज इन दिस डायरेक्शन बट फ्रिक्शनल इज अपोजिट सो एम जी विल बी पॉजिटिव एंड फ्रिक्शन इज अपोजिट टू 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 द मोशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट सो विल विल पुट नेगेटिव साइन इन फ्रंट ऑफ दिस फोर्स माइनस के एम वी स्क्र इज इक्वल टू एम डी स्क्र एक्स ओवर डी टी स्क्र दिस कैन बी री रिटर्न लाइक वी डेल्टा वी माइनस के वी स्क्र प्लस जी इफ वी सेपरेट द वेरिएबल then this will become dx so if we integrate this equation and on the left and right hand side so this will become minus 1 over 2 k log of minus kv square plus g is equal to x plus c so using again our initial condition when body started its motion from highest points so it was momentarily at rest at that point so v is equal to 0 at the top when tree was zero when he was about to start when particle uh, it was about to start its motion at the highest point so v is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 when the body started motion from highest point this will gives value of c uh, minus 1 over 2 k log of g because at that time when uh, x was 0 velocity was not uh, v not but v is equal to 0 so this will give values of c if we put back this value of c into uh, previous equation this will give us the values of x so x will become 1 over 2 k log of g over g minus k v square at the highest point velocity of the particle must be zero so we find the high height uh, substituting v is equal to 0 in the below equations okay this is actually the ratio of these two heights I have highlighted this with the yellow because I will use this equation again and I will refer it with the highlighted colors. So if I put x h is equal to one over two k log of k v naught square plus g over h when bodies is coming downward from height h, I have put the subscript h just for differentiation. x h is equal to 1 over 2 k log of k v naught square plus g over g equating these two equation when body is coming downward uh, uh, in the second case and then the first case body is moving upward so we have ex- uh, so far obtained the expression for the uh, downward motion as well as for the upward motion so we will put these equation together 1 over 2 k log of g over g minus k v k v square is equal to 1 over 2 k log of k v naught square plus g So if, if we solve this for v, this will become j v naught square over k v naught square plus g over k. So for terminal velocity, let set x is equal to infinity. When body is coming downward, then at one time will that uh, at one time frictional force become equal to gra- gravitational force. So at this case, body will attain the terminal velocity, which will be equal to uh, when x. Is equal to infinity, then body will gain its terminal velocity, which will be equal under root j over k. So, if we rewrite this equation, uh, if we g, then we will use j under root j over k will be equal to v t. This is j over k, and this is also j over k. So this will be we will write this j over k. Under root with v t, so our this expression will be modified like v is equal to v naught v t and v naught square plus v t square because we have put all the terms that contain under root g over k in the form of v t. So this ex- we will uh, get the required expression uh, in the form of v is equal to v naught v t and v naught square plus v t square.
this expression with the negative sign. So another question 